Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. Even after reading and revising all the chapters in NEET, if you don't know how to manage time while solving NEET paper, you may have to pay a heavy price in examination. In this video, I will talk about how to manage time while solving NEET paper. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe and like this video. Please share this video if you like it. As we all know, we have 180 minutes to solve 180 question in NEET. That implies we have one minute to solve each question. That doesn't imply we have to take one minute to solve each and every question, even the easier question. Let me show you how I managed time in NEET 2019 and got 638 out of 720. I started with biology as it was easiest subject for me. It took nearly 30 to 35 minutes to solve uh, biology and then I moved on with chemistry. While solving chemistry, I got interrupted by invigilator because I haven't filled the first page in which I have to fill my information about my name, college, etc. I thought we will get extra time to fill all the information in the beginning, but my bad, there was no extra time to fill those information. The invigilator insisted that I had to fill the information then itself in the middle of chemistry. Then I got a bit tense and I lost two to three minutes. But somehow I picked up the pace and finished chemistry in about 45 to 50 minutes. Then I had 90 minutes to solve physics and some problems which I have left behind in biology and chemistry. I was pretty calm as I got 90 minutes to solve physics and I solved physics in one hour leaving behind some difficult lengthy questions for next 30 minutes. In last 30 minutes, I solved the problems which I have left behind in all three subjects that is physics, chemistry and biology and those pro I solved those problems which I thought I can solve them and I took some calculated risk too. You have to start solving paper with your strongest subject which was biology for me. For Shreyas, it was physics as he talked in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch it. It will definitely motivate you to work harder and it will help you overcome exam fear. Then you have to go on with the moderate subject or the subject in which you are good at. For me, it was chemistry. At the end, you have to take up the difficult subject or the weakest subject that was physics for me. You have to go from strongest subject and then moderate or subject which you are good at. Then you have to come to the difficult subject or weakest subject for you. By doing this, you can avoid wasting time if you get stuck in a particular problem and you won't get panicked. Try to solve the questions in biology as fast as you can. As the questions in biology are easier, you can easily finish biology within 30 to 45 minutes. For chemistry, you can take from 45 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes. Finish within that range. For physics, you, you will be left with 60 to 90 minutes in the end. So you can easily solve problems in physics within that time. And while solving questions faster, try to minimize as many silly mistakes as you can. Try to implement all of these pattern in your mock while taking mock test. And feel free to make adjustment to this pattern as for your requirement. And if you feel you are slow in a particular subject, whether it is physics, chemistry or biology, you can take a separate mock test of that subject in a particular time. For example, let's say you are weak in physics. You can take 60 minute timer 
and solve 45 questions within 60 minutes just like a mini mock test while doing this you can pick up your calculation skills and solve the problems more efficiently and faster so try to do this and increase your problem solving rate so that you won't be having any trouble to manage time in the examination it is just a myth that everyone has it will be difficult to manage time in examination but that's not true you will get a plenty of time in examination 180 minutes that is 3 or is much than required to solve those questions you can easily manage time if you practice well and work hard on your calculation skills I am repeating it again please try to implement all of this in mock test and get adjusted to these patterns and if you want to make any adjustment please do it let me know in the comments below if these methods are being helpful for you or not and if you want to share any thoughts or suggestion please let me know in the comments I feel motivated to do much more videos for you guys if you keep supporting me by commenting liking sharing these videos it just keeps motivating me to move forward with you guys hope you all are reading well and taking as many mock tests as you can and please don't neglect your sleep take at least six to seven hours of sleep i will see you all in my next video till then keep revising Thank you, have a great day.